G'day everyone, here we are again with another speed build. This time it's a glorious modern mansion um, built using only base game, which was incredibly hard. I'm so used to using, I don't have all the packs, but I have quite a few of them. Um, so going back to just the original game, you certainly have to get creative. But we got those creative energies flowing and I think it turned out pretty good in the end. I'm happy with the result. Um, there's certainly lots of bits that I went over multiple times before I got to where I was happy. But yeah, I think it came out really good in the end. But boy, did I have some troubles with these curved walls. Next time I go to build something with curved walls, someone needs to shoot me. Oh my gosh. Like, I left a little piece in here. You can see me trying to... Yeah just before trying to fiddle with doing an insert corner that did not work it broke my whole game I had to reinstall the sims it was yeah I turned all my mods off I don't know it just um, the issue I was having is that I was trying to place things and it just wouldn't place like build mode was bugged out it just wasn't working um, I really love the curved walls but they are so painful to work with uh, I don't think I really need to stay away from, from building with them because they're just ridiculous. What I was trying to do with them, like we have an outer curve on the corner, but I wanted a, co a curve on the inside of a corner, which we can't do. It just it says it's an invalid room and they're obviously not made to do that. Um, yeah, so here we are going through. I wanted lots and lots of uh, windows in this. I did use an inspirational image um, just from image search and it was just like an ultra modern mansion um, that was very white and had these big gorgeous curves uh, the whole building was curved and had a really nice pool that was curved um, which obviously isn't as possible in the sims but um, did what I could with what we have and yeah I think it came out well uh, I especially like with the reference image I used the how they had the lighting, um, which was sort of had blues and yellows reflecting off each other. So I worked quite a bit with the lighting in this um, build as well, um, which we'll see a bit later. Um, so right now we're just going through trying to figure out the exterior. I had a sort of a vague idea of where I wanted things to be, but uh, more or less. Um, it was kind of a work it out as you go type thing. Um, I really wanted to try, there's this trick that you see, uh, and I can't remember who the original person was that did it, but they were they do curves on top of the pools, um, which you use, you create a, a separate floor and you put a trim on it and you lower it. And it, it does look really good. Um, and it's certainly suited with the rest of the curves. Uh, but then when you go to the second floor it disappears so it felt a bit pointless to me so I ended up getting rid of it. Um, here we're doing a little sunken spa moment um, which turned out quite well. Uh, it was a bit difficult too because of the, the gap between the pool uh, and the spa but I ended up using the tool mod and um, just put it, finding something that would cover that up. I'm going around now just planning out where I want the landscaping don't know why I chose to use dirt for that. <laughs> I'll go through in a second and we end up changing it all to grass and it's much better. Um, figuring out the paths. Again, as you can see there, I'm having more issues with the curves. Um, when you're using the foundations with a curve on it, the whatever flooring you have underneath it, you have to lay that down first or it, it leaves a gap. Um, but yeah, I mean, I also found a solution for that when I was uh, doing the landscaping, I put some plants there. So, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. We got around it, but it's just so annoying. Uh, going through now and choosing the plants that I wanted, um, just so we have a cohesive theme around the whole building. Uh, these fences are out of the debug menu, uh, just for something a bit different. Um, Try to use it a few bits and pieces out of the debug menu because we were limited with just base game. Here we go, brightening up now with some green grass, which really I think makes the whole thing pop quite nicely, especially when it's considering it's in, in the, the red desert. I built this in Oasis Springs, where the original land grabs building was. In my previous episode, I did an episode on a, my 
um, take on an alternate universe for the land grabs. Uh, and I'm basically coming up with like an alternate Sims universe with my own law. Um, and in that universe, the land grabs are actually struggling and um, not doing as well as they were in this one. So I think they might have lost this mansion, but maybe this is what tipped them over the edge and <laughs> made them lose all their money. Um, now we're jumping into some lighting. Um, I really love lighting in The Sims 4. I think it can really transform your build. Uh, so I went through and I spent quite a bit of time going through and adding lights in various different spots to make it pop here and there. Um, here in the pool, we put all the lights through and then you, you can use the function to change the room and change them all at once. Um, and I'm doing that in build mode using uh, the by build, by build mod. Gives you some extra bits and extra functions, which are quite handy. Um, here we go. I wanted a big fountain out the front, just testing all the, the sprays to see which way they were going. Now we're putting in the iconic spa. I mean, I think it's the only spa in the base game, so we didn't have too much option. Um, and going through and doing a bit of furnishing around on the decks out here. I wasn't too sure what I was gonna, at this stage, what I was gonna do with that large area to the right, um, where I just put some, some tables. I was thinking, oh, am I gonna have an extra dining area down there? Uh, and then, like this build took a few days to do, so over the, the following days, I couldn't figure that out. Uh, but yeah, here we are just going through and I didn't want to over clutter the place up. Um, being that it's a base game build, I thought I'd keep it fairly sparse, um, but I didn't want it to be, you know, looking empty like some of the EA builds. Uh, but I thought this would be a really nice place to come out and have breakfast in the morning. Uh, yeah, awesome view. Uh, and then around this side, we've got a small little lounge area. Uh, I really like those, the, the new colors they added to those lounges. Um, but I, I didn't like changing them, those lounges out anyway. Uh, they have been inside and a different color. Um, lots of greenery, lots of plants, lots of repeated plants because we're only using base game and there's not a huge um, variety with those. But yeah, it came out pretty well. Um, and I also made a few sort of custom plants that we'll see. Um, I'm going to do another episode with the interior because this is going to be quite long. And, but you'll see that in that episode. Here we are, the, I've come back now and I've decided, oh, I should put in a little guest house. Um, Cause overall, when I planned the interior layout, there's only two bedrooms. Um, it is, you know, vaguely based off the land grab. So that was the parents' room and the son's room. And I thought, can't have a mansion with only two rooms. I mean, a mansion probably wouldn't only have three rooms, but that's what I could fit. And, uh, but yeah, I thought this came up. Nice, a nice little private spot out there. Um, there's a little natural lagoon pool um, off to the, the front of the guest house there. Nice little private area. Used a few different textures on the floor, like between the pebbles and then the brown sort of cobblestone, um, just to vary it up a bit. Um, I wanted to divide these sections up a bit, so I used some more of those um, debug walls and sunk them into the ground. This is That's those glitches I was telling you about under the curved walls. I just put some little bits of mossy sort of plant in there. I thought that worked quite well and it kind of breaks it all up a bit. Um, finishing up the landscaping here, more plants around the fountain. Um, a bit of terrain painting just to um, vary the, the texture up a bit. Um, I think it just looks better when there's just a little bit more variance, just splits it up a bit. And I'm going through now and just uh, checking all the lighting. Um, and then I thought that there were sections up the top that didn't have windows in them. So I'm going through now and putting some skylights in. Um, it doesn't show too much there, but during the day as the sun passes over, um, you do get more light in there. And I'm going through now and just uh, organizing uh, the layout that I wanted inside. Uh, I, uh, you've probably seen me do these stairs multiple times because the build <laughs> kept breaking because of those freaking curved walls. Um, so the sections that I had to keep redoing. Um, 
Yeah, but I, yeah, I went through and there's a, a little tip if you're using like the base game fences and you want to get rid of all the poles, you can just draw some walls off, make sure they're in closed rooms and then when you get rid of them, you get a nice flat fence, which is a bit more modern, I think. Yeah, I'm going through and adjusting a bit of the interior colors now. Uh, I wanted a bathroom in there just to break it up a bit. Um, add some different, put different levels through here because it's all open plan. Um, downstairs so to break it up we had a few different levels uh, up here that end was going to be a that's going to be an office and then an, another living room uh, which I'm looking at with some furniture there so I can remember when I come back to it but that brings us to the end of this part um, we've completed the exterior and the landscaping which I'm really happy about because I usually leave the landscaping to the last bit and I can never finish it as you can see this was filmed when all the interior was finished um, but there will be more in depth of that in the next episode and uh, this this has actually come out pretty short but it was a bit too much for me to put all in one um, yeah so here's our back backyard the ceilings glitching of course um, I think it came out quite well uh, I'm not gonna put it up on the gallery just yet until the other episodes out because I might need to make some final last-minute adjustments if you liked the build, it would mean the world to me if you left me a comment or a thumbs up or uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks guys, have a good day.